Right, so another bit of a disappointing day. I was hoping to get this thing mostly together. Um, after I cleaned up the timing cover, I found a few deep pit marks, corrosion pit marks. So I'm going to have to get a new one of them. Uh, otherwise, it'll it may leak because it's so pitted around where the gasket sits. And the other thing is that these Scorpion uh, these Scorpion roller rockers uh, won't work as they are. They need to come up. They need to come up uh, 200. Uh, sorry, 125 thou to minimum. Ideally, they need to be up about 200 thou. Uh, you can see the wear pattern on the top of that. Uh, if I get the right, the right angle. That's close to ideal. Ideally, you want it in the middle, which at 200 thou it does sit. The, the wear pattern is right in the middle. Um, but at the stock height, I'll put it on now at the stock height and hopefully they'll leave a witness mark that we can I can show you what I mean. So let's work this up and down. Can't no, it hasn't really rubbed it off. see it uh, it's contacting right on the edge uh, which it should be closer to the middle and as it sweeps through its arc it rolls into the middle ideally you want middle height of the lift you want that uh, sitting in the middle so yeah you can see a bit more so it's worn it back towards that edge so these need to sit up higher uh, I'm not quite sure how we're going to do it it really needs higher want uh, taller supports Because if you raise this up, then it's going to take it out of this groove. We'll put it right on the edge of that groove. And uh, that's the only thing that stops the rocket from rotating. So, fun and games. Uh, the other thing... I shot it in the earlier video, but you can't actually get a socket down with the ARP studs. There's not enough room there. So I'm either going to have to hit it with a die grinder or put it back in the mill. And put the boring head on and take a cut. Happy days.